Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, let's take a look at Hive Mapper and their token Honey to see where we can land with a price target for the 2024 2025 bull run. Let me give you a spoiler up front. Spoiler alert up front. If you love Honey, maybe this video is not for you. I really wanted to love this. And I came away liking it, but there's some concerns and I'm gonna share those concerns and give you a price prediction that I'm assuming you're gonna think is overly conservative. I make my case, you'll have to be the judge. All right, but before we dive on into that, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Please do your own research. I am not a financial advisor. And while I appreciate that so many of you are hopping in here from all over the place, you've got to hit that subscribe button. I make price target videos every day at 6 a.m. Eastern time on the dot. And I try to make multiple videos a day and try to go live every day so that you don't miss a thing in this rapidly evolving crypto space. And while you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification notification button as well. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into this. And so if you were to read the coinmarketcap.com description of honey, what is honey, you'd get a pretty good feel. This is an easy to understand cryptocurrency. Launched in November of 2022, Hive Mapper Honey is a decentralized global mapping network that rewards its contributors for collecting high volume 4K street level imagery with dash cans, cams through a drive to earn model. Very intriguing. I'll, I'll fully admit, admit that. Imagery acquisition devices come in the form of 4K dash cams, which are a combination of a camera that records street level imagery and a blockchain mining device. Users who operate dash cams thus mine and earn rewards in Hive Mapper's native cryptocurrency token Honey. And so should you get one of these mapping devices Devices, perhaps, perhaps you should. I, I'm, I'm tempted. You know, I'd rather earn crypto if the earnings are good than, um, than just buy it straight up. Always mine over buy for sure. If you're able to do that, then perhaps that's what you should do. And so here's what it looks like. The B. It looks a lot bigger on the website than it actually is. It's just dash cam. It looks. It's, it's pretty small. But you know, future of map making powered by your journey. You can see the options here. It's coming. It's not in. In. It's not out yet. Okay. So if you do get into this, you're pretty early. So you can get a Wi-Fi only B dash cam for four hundred forty nine dollars or or a Wi-Fi plus cellular LTE B dash cam for five hundred forty nine dollars. So that that should remind you of a few things as we're processing this. If you've been in crypto for a while, um, the first thing that it could remind you of is Google Street View. Is Hive Mapper a decentralized competitor to Google Street View? And it does do we need a decentralized competitor? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what advantages that Google has to as a centralized version of something that is decentralized with honey. Uh, if they, if somebody could make a case for that, I'm very open to the possibility that yeah, we need a decentralized version of this. But there's a couple other things that I would compare Hive Mapper Honey to, and maybe these are already in your mind. I would say that it's a combination of number one helium because this reminds me could this be the next cycle's helium miner the the honey dash cam could it be this big wave of excitement because everyone wanted a helium miner last time around and if you know my opinion i'm not a fan of helium miners i'm not a fan of the hnt token while fully acknowledging that hnt could do very well could put it in a new all-time high I think there's a lot of scammy aspects to Helium itself. Maybe not Helium Mobile, but the Helium Miners in particular. A lot of that, a lot of the earnings that people got that got a lot of people excited about buying the Helium Miners, that was subsidized. And so I'm wondering if something similar is going to happen with Honey this time around. So we have Helium. Helium peaked at a $5 billion market cap last cycle. I think that that's a good totem for where we could see Honey going to. And then the other um, cryptocurrency comparison that I would say would be XYO. <clears throat> XYO is not, you know, not the, do, the, the dash cam kind of cryptocurrency, but a lot of geolocation. If you were to pull out your phone and then just <clears throat> start geo mining with XYO, you could earn on the coin app at least and then convert that to XYO. You could earn some, some coin. I earned over a three-year period, about $500 worth of XYO. So I'm not complaining, but we have the combination, both elements of HNT and XYO. Maybe the best case scenario is this, this is the decentralized Google Street View. That's all good. It's fine. Um, so 
what I need to, what I want to know is more so about what their, their token dynamics look like. And so how do you earn honey? How do you earn the honey token? And so you can see here, drive a map with the dash cam. We already talked about that. Play the AI trainer games to help the map AI improve. Follow along the Hive Mapper Explorer. Watch the map grow. Use our APIs to build some cool mapping and geo things. There's lots of opportunity to earn. And you can see if you were one of those geo miners, this is what it's going to look like. Not geo miners, dash cam contributors. This is what it would look like in a perfect system. And this is this this has me a little skeptical early on it this is this is an ideal scenario this is a utopia scenario where everyone's where just the general public is using honey we have the contributors that produce the map data data but then we have consumers who use map credits and this is again where i'm getting a little skeptical because who are these consumers Maybe one day in the future, these consumers will be there for 2024 and 2025. There are no consumers. There will be no consumers. But under this utopian scenario, yes, the consumers, they use existing honey. They pay in honey. They burn the tokens. But then the, 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 the burn tokens are reminted, recreated, and given to the contributors for providing the map data. And on and on we go perfect scenario. If it works out like that, then fantastic. Honey will be a great cryptocurrency to buy. But the way that they're going to do this, and I have a lot of conviction in what I'm about to say, the way they're going to do this up front is subsidize the pay to the contributors, just like Helium did. And here's what's going to happen in the next bear market. Next bear market, what's probably going to happen is that the, the rewards are going to decrease to about pennies of honey because nobody, very few people are actually gonna be using their map service, maybe 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that's not gonna be the case. But 2026, whenever the bear market is, people aren't gonna be using this. And that's just reality. Okay, so they're gonna subsidize this pretty heavily up front, and they have a budget to subsidize this. So let's take a look at that. They're, they're uh, vesting, they're, there's uh, supply breakdown. I, I don't like this. I'll just be upfront. 10 billion tokens. There's a fixed maximum supply of 10 billion honey tokens. Tokens were initially allocated in the following manner 40% to contributors as reward for partic their participation in building the Hive Mapper network. In other words, 4 billion tokens. This is the subsidy, in my opinion. 4 billion tokens are going to be given to the early contributors who are participating, who purchase, spend the $549 to purchase the dash cam those contributors are going to get subsidized honey. All right, next, 20% to investors per, for providing the startup capital required to launch the Hive Mapper network. That's a pretty big chunk. 20% to employees of Hive Mapper Inc. That's also a pretty big chunk. 15% to the Hive Mapper Inc. for providing R&D and 5% to the Hive Mapper Foundation. I wouldn't be surprised for that last 20%, the 15 and the 5, if that's not used a ton, utilized a ton, but that's just kind of in a treasury. And so I'm going to be a little gracious in that regard. But, okay investors, we need to understand what the vesting is going to look like now. HiveMapper has raised equity funding from some of the most prominent venture capital firms, including Spark Capital, Multicoin Capital, Founder Collective, GV, Shine Capital, Craft Ventures, Solana Ventures, and more. Tokens allocated to investors are restricted to a two-year period with transfer restrictions, restrictions released from tokens in 12 equal tranches by the end of the 13th month until the end of the 24-month anniversary of the initial token distribution date the day of which the token launches on mainnet. So remember, this launched on November of 2022. So November of 2023, actually no, the end of December of 2023, we started seeing these unlocks. And this is going to be entirely unlocked by November of 2024, this year. So 2 billion of that 10 billion supply is going to be fully unlocked by this year. For the employees, it's a 36-month vesting schedule starting on November 23rd. And so about, sorry, no, it's a 24-month. It's month the 12, starting in month 12, November of 2023, until no, uh, November of 2025. And so half of their supply 
is going to be released by November 2024. That gives us about 1 billion tokens. 1.33 by the end of 2024 or early 2025. That is my estimate as to how much is going to be released early 2025. 1.33 billion tokens. That's a decent, that's a pretty significant amount. Okay, so look, looking again. Okay, the current circulating supply is 834 million honey tokens. That's 8.34% in circulation. By the end of this year, that's going to be about 40% just based off of these vesting releases. And then that doesn't even factor into when these uh, dash cams are for sale, how much of that is going to be released. And I have a scenario that I wanna, pr um, that I wanna present to you. Who knows if this is gonna happen? But moving on. Honey price prediction, I could see this doing exactly what Helium did, HNT, in 2021, reach a $5 billion market cap. It's currently at $164 million. That would be great if there wasn't the level of dilution that we're talking about here. That would be many, many Xs. That would be, what, maybe a, a 35 to 40 X. But... I'm trying to be generous with token dilution by November 2024. Investor supply will be fully vested at 2 billion. Employee supply will be two thirds vested, 1.33 billion early 2025. Let's say, let's just assume Hive Mapper Inc. and Foundation, that last 20%, they don't use any of their supply. Let's just be generous in that regard. So, what about contributors? Is this similar to, to Helium? They get very people. They get people very excited to buy a B mapper by offering large rewards at first. If you remember in 2021 with the helium miners, he, people who bought helium miners early, early were getting significant rewards, like hundreds of dollars a day thousands a month and that kind of caused this gold rush to come with the helium miners and then in the bear market because people weren't actually using the network they literally they got pennies a day these these people who bought you know who waited into 12 months for the helium miners and so should you buy a b mapper with that that kind of history that we have with helium i wouldn't be surprised if you were one of the first adopters here if that worked out very well for you because you're gonna get, in my opinion at least, a subsidized reward. And perhaps they'll burn through half of that. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they burn through half of the four billion supply to these early adopters, getting them all excited and then all of a sudden selling a $50 dash cam for $500 and they'll make a ton of money doing that. I'm sorry, that this, it's crypto. <laughs> oh man, when we come down to it, this is crypto. Maybe this is going to make all your wildest dreams come true. Or maybe you're just going to fall for the same thing that you fell for with helium in 2021. So honey price prediction, $5 billion market cap divided by a 5.33 billion circulating supply. That gives us a price of only 93.8 cents. Now this depends, it does depend on when the B mapper launches. I think it's soon, but let's say it takes another six months or so, okay, you know, erase 2 billion of that circulating supply there, about, and maybe this is then a $1.50 honey price. Regardless, this is not, I really wanted to like this. I really, really wanted to like this cryptocurrency. And I don't. All right, so I've made my case. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Where do you think honey's going? Do you think my price target's too conservative? Maybe it is. But still, I'm not touching this. Not financial advice. I would recommend that you don't touch it either. Otherwise, I will most certainly be seeing you in another video. Peace.